our book, How to Play Doubles, can only be found on our website. Check it out. We play a lot, so I know he'll chip and charge, but when you play people that play inside the baseline, they're probably going to chip and charge. And because it's really difficult to take a full whack at a ball if they're playing inside the baseline on both your first serve and second serve. So when you play chip and charge people, the rationale should be you want to serve not at them, because if you serve right at them, it goes right into your zones. You may or may not want to hit more spin. It's really easy to block back a flat. So they're standing on the first serve and second serve. So if you know that, you have to think about what you're going to do. You want to serve either wide or away from them. Why wide? It's yellow because any net player, your net player has to cover the line and the angle allows a clean cross-court winner. So when you ever serve wide in doubles, because it's doubles, they're going to hit a cross-court and they have more room with the doubles alley. And your net player has to cover his alley. So it becomes quite a difficult shot for you to play because you have no help. It's much smarter in doubles to serve down the middle. And you want to serve middle and away, so it goes away from him so that they have to get the arm outstretched to the forehand. This is a better serve because it cuts down the angles. Your partner can assist you and jump in and try to cut that ball off. And it's going away from it, so it's more of an arm shot than a body shot. If you serve right at someone, they can use their body to hit the ball. If you serve away from them, they have to stretch out. And once they stretch out, it's all arm power. One of the big keys is you're gonna kick serve it and you, I went going to his backhand or body and he stepped back to the forehand. And so what happened is because I made him step back and I'm by the service line, it, you have ideal positioning. Once that racket goes back and he takes a step back, the pressure is not so much on me anymore. Normally a chip and charger will hit the ball on the rise and come into the court. And so by the time I make impact with the ball, I'm not by a service line and he's on the service line. But in this situation, he stepped back. And so you have to read it and react right there. Boom, read, react. Once the ball leaves his racket, you wanna go and you wanna shoot the gap whenever you're in trouble. So what do I mean by shoot the gap? You wanna hit the ball down the middle between the, your two opponents. That will hopefully cause some confusion, but the down the middle shot also is a higher percentage shot. Lower part of the net, more court to aim at. If I go alley, it's a tough shot, I'm out of position. If I go too cross court, to the guy in the blue, he has a clean down the line shot. My partner is transitioning. So you try to shoot the gap and watch the coverage. So we switch, shoot the gap, and I know what my partner can do. I know he's not gonna cut it off. The blue should have closed in because my shot was gonna be weak all the way. Like it wasn't gonna be a lob. I'm not gonna run over there and hit a lob. I'm gonna go over there and try to smack it, but I can't get my body weight behind the shot. I can barely make impact with the ball. So once you see I can barely make impact with the ball there, you should close in. That way the ball is not low. And my partner could close in also. But he's actually got a pretty good forehand volley. And that's why what happens here is both, both of them could close in. It worked out good for us on our side. So what do you want to do to defeat, defeat the chipper? Know what your punch is going to do. Read what he does. Like read it by positioning. Like he's coming in, chipping on the rise, coming in or if you're gonna chip and wait for it. If you're in trouble, throw the ball between them. If you have a chipper, you serve wide or you serve down the middle. And you want them to be stretched out when they hit a shot. Don't go at them, because that ball comes right into their zone and they'll hit it really hard. Our two other books are on Amazon, so check it out. The Book of Mental Focus and the Singles Book. The Doubles Book is only on our website.